my journey kind of started in my undergrad. I went to San Jose State. I start, studied psychology with the intention of perhaps becoming a psychologist. After college, I got some work in mental health, working as a psych tech. I also was an assistant doing some research into some DBT therapy type stuff. And then I also worked in a job helping take care of developmentally delayed adults. It was kind of through these experiences I realized that maybe I want to become a psychiatrist and uh, kind of go into the medical side of things instead. I did my prereqs at University of Utah where I was working as a psych tech and uh, got into the University of Utah Medical School. Around that time I had met my wife, uh, we had our first child and you know was busy trying to do medical school and uh, start my family. Um, I was so fortunate to uh, come to Michigan to do residency at Central Michigan University and um, my first year there I had the uh, privilege of rotating on a brand new geriatric psychiatry inpatient unit and that had been something that I had never been exposed to before but kind of given my previous experiences working in mental health and especially I'd, I'd done some work volunteering for the Alzheimer's Association I think it made me realize how geriatric psychiatry fell in line with my values and kind of things I'm passionate about, especially with older adults. Early in my residency career, I, I looked for local geriatric psychiatry training programs and got in contact with Dr. Maxter. And uh, Dr. Maxter was so um, kind and, uh, <laughs> you know, attentive to I guess my, my journey in residency and always encouraging me to stay on that course of becoming a geriatric psychiatrist and it, it kind of developed from there. Mm -hmm.